fresh donuts. It's a very, very important. So we've got a little recipe for you. It's got some jam in there, some custard, a couple of things for uh, a good scenario. It could be for friends or something more. Entirely up to you. So this morning, we're showing you how to whip up a fresh batch so you can treat everyone this Easter weekend with something fun and different. And this is why we are doing this together. So let's bring my friend... Out of the, G out of the in here. friend zone, did yeah. you bring That was actually a lovely conversation zone. about it, the friend amazing, zone. Amazing, dude. It was amazing. great. I'm looking forward to more, but now let's get that dough. Oh, look at that. All right, okay. so this is, that's actually yeast and a bit of sugar to feed the yeast so we can get that blooming. He's loving it. I can see they are loving. They're having a, a way of a time it. there. Uh, I'm assuming. You're making dough. All together, make, man. make some dough oh. for me, man. All right, okay. let's do it. So we got some. You could put the flour in over there and then... Atop that, you do your bloomed yeast with the sugar in there, as well as your melted butter. And we even got an egg yolk there, just to make sure that it's extra um, unctuous. And, and one thing I have remembered from all of these lessons, yeah. I think Jenny Morris was, um, you know, she's the queen of breads. And, yep. and don't, um, don't, don't put the salt with the yeast. It'll kill it. Yes. And it's sodium. amazing how often you'll do that. You'll mix the salt straight in with your flour, then put the yeast on no, top of the salt and absolutely destroy it. Okay, so we've got and our then you going in there. We're going to get a, a dough consistency. We're just Beautiful. doing this to show you exactly how to do it so that you can grab the recipe, expressoshow.com. That's where we've put it, and you can give it a shot with your own twists. However, Is that egg? Yolk. Yolk? Yep. You must be yoking. I man. am not <laughs> yoking. This whole morning there. you've been yoking. I've been through. yoking all yeah. the way through, my friend. That's the, <laughs> and then, that's it. Okay, that's I'm all she wrote. through. Um, it's as simple as that, man. And then you've got to get stuck in, yeah. And you're gonna do, you're gonna whip it up. And the great thing is about the magic of TV is that already on your right hand side, I've prepared three donuts to be fried. Oh, really? Which is great already. Ba, 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 and that's the type of texture ba, 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 you're looking ba, ba, ba. for, as you can see. You can almost see that when they hit the heat, they're going to respond immediately and then puff up and puff to something out. beautiful and gorgeous like that. And, and I like the, the elongated shape because you get more of the filling yes, exactly. more of the time, yeah? It kind of spreads that, that exactly. flavor journey out. So All right. I, yo, you are okay. going to do this. I know, I know there, it's going to be tough. Is there a way that we test? Well, I'd, if you're going to put anything into hot oil, always drop it away from yourself. You just I think need that's a, the first a little bit of flour that we normally throw in. But I, I'm going to assume... Are you testing? Are you heated there? I think yep. we are. There's yes, a flame are. on. I think we're good. You can see we have, we have been burnt in good the luck. kitchen before. Good luck to so us. we don't want to... Good Take luck to any us. chances. And remember, you know, it looks like we heated there. If we're not heated, remember yours will need to be heated on your side just to make it happen. Look at you go there, brother. <laughs> You're putting it on a spoon. This is great. I'm just, there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, that might are you, be my Are you getting mistake. a response? Is the oil hot enough? No, I think we're going to ramp that puppy up. Let's do that. Bit. Okay, while you're doing that, bum, bum, we are going to ramp bum, that bum, up. Bum, bum. Oh, it's on it mass. will look it's on like mass. this after. There we go. And once it's puffed up and done that, then you can leave that and we can focus on filling. Oh, While we focus man. on filling, I'm giving you a beautiful treat because you need some clover Thank you, my vanilla friend. custard just to keep you going. And I'm while we do that, we're going to fill our two prepared donuts. Okay, there now, we what go. We have here, to get a little bit of buzz action. We've and, cut and them and thank you for that tip, hey. Always start from your side and then it's move away. Move away. I if like that. You're going to look right. after your clothing, but more importantly, your, <laughs> your skin. Your, and I know chefs have like, like natural asbestos hands, but not no, as home chefs. No, no, no. We, yeah. are not, we are very much home chefs over here. But remember, yeah. you can fill this with custard. You can fill it with strawberry jam. Ooh. You can change up the jam. You fill can go apricot. You can do a bunch of different things in the middle. I'm going to say yeah. it's Easter. I'm going to hide in a little bit of surprises or Ooh. pro tip. If you want an extra thing, take one of your little... Marshmallow eggs, yeah. put into the center, put it under the air fryer, and then you get something different. Get out I'm just of saying. town. Why not? Get out of town. Or you could combine all three. Why not do that? <laughs> I'm just going to fill the donut. Mm. And what we want is, we want... I'm thinking the, the creaminess of the clover custard with the crunchiness of that, that kind yes. of caramelized, crunchy exterior That's what we're looking for. of the donut. Absolutely amazing. I mean, you could take these guys, savory, sweet. You could do some cheesy vibes, some chili popper vibes. It's oh, actually such that's a very beautiful, true. That's such a good idea. Base. Just have them let people go bespoke. You still think this is a fit cook, don't you? Just, I'm, I didn't say it. I didn't say fit cook. Did you hear me say fit cook once? Well, I was, maybe my eyes said fit cook. You know what I love about these little mini donuts? 
mm -hmm. okay, <laughs> is that you can make a whole yeah. lot. Please fix the door, yes. Let them, people can just get fit. <laughs> they can just go and do their own That's thing good. and start combining their own. You imagine if you can make, you've got a bit of cream, you've got a bit of jam, a selection of jams, some clo well, not that there's any custard left. Wow, hey? I have taken custody <laughs> of the custard. <laughs> we have created Woo! a monster <laughs> this morning. It's not all a competition, dude. Um, okay, now I'm going to speed up. That looks amazing, okay. guys. This is done. I made this mm. for you, by the way. So here's the thing. Do not, <laughs> I mean, do not miss out on the opportunity to make something really special this Easter weekend. Give these jam and custard donuts a try. Get the full <laughs> recipe on expressoshow.com. Wonderful, and it's going to be great. Get cooking, get fit. <laughs> Elevate your custard game with the all-new vanilla-flavored Clover Custard. So creamy and smooth, it makes all the other desserts a little jelly.